Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your um, September uh, 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. Um, so we are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, um, separate it from. We're going to see what this person is hiding from you, what they're not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Okay, you may switch the roles if you want. You can apply this to new love, current love, and ex. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at the replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Virgo, what messages do we have here for Virgo? Tell me about Virgo here. The person that Virgo is dealing with, thinking of separated from. What is this person hiding from Virgo? What is this person not telling Virgo here? What are the Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords? Okay. Seems like this person's about to review some sort of truth here to you. Five of Cups. You know, I feel like this person's like disappointed or that this person has some sort of regrets here and I feel like this person wants to clear things up. Basically have a clean slate here with you. Could be a situation that someone here is coming with an apology here. You know, coming with an apology, coming in with a sol solid offer here. Seems like this person's ready to sort of like do right by you here, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Ace of Pentacles here. And also the High Priestess. So we have some here basically is looking for commitment here looking for something long term here with you looking for a clean slate looking to clear things up here with you tell me the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here and we have the nine of pentacles the ace of swords and also the hangman here virgo energy pre-empress energy here the nine uh the uh, uh the hangman piscean energy I mean, I feel like this person has been waiting for the right time here to sort of like tell you this. So how about the five of cups here? Judgment. Yeah, it seems a bit of a like a reconciliation energy here. It seems like, you know, there could have been separation between you and your person here. Maybe this person was juggling you, but you know, two of pentacles here, you know, this could be an indication this person's trying to do everything that they can to bring this back together here. So I feel like what this person wants to do is that this person wants a clean slate. This person wants a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? We have the Sun, Leo energy. We also have the High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles here. Seems like someone here is definitely missing you a lot or someone here is feeling very lonely without you. I feel like they want you to make them the happiest person in the world by accepting their offer here or accepting their apology. The Sun, Leo energy. What else do we have for, for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on? For September 2024, when it comes to this love situation, what does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on? Ten of Pentacles. We have the Tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy. Ten of so uh, not the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and also the Page of Wands here, and the Empress here, Libra, Taurus. So we have the King of Swords and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, uh, Libra, Taurus. Uh, we have um, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. 
you know, here is the thing, you know, I feel like there is a situation here where someone here wants to rebuild a relationship here with you. Okay, and I feel like you've completely turned your back on this individual here. Yeah, you're finding that this person is toxic here. You know, you're finding that this person is unreliable. You're finding that this person's a narcissistic individual here. So I feel like this is someone that you don't really quite want to deal with here. Yeah, this is someone that you don't really quite want to deal with. We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus. Uh, we also have the Devil, Capricorn, Energy. Tell me the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Tell me the Tower card here. The Tower. And we have the Five of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's doing everything that they can to win you back. Okay? I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is in love with you. But the problem is, I do feel like this person has a bit of a dark side here. I do feel like this is a very controlling, emotionally, verbally abusive, narcissistic individual here. I feel like this person can be very competitive. You know, I feel like this person has a tendency to one-up you here. You know, even though if this person's coming in to clear things up here with you, I don't feel like this relationship is really going to turn out really well, especially with the devil card being here. Okay, tell me the empress here. Why is the empress here? The empress and the knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I don't feel like there's like a serious bone in this person's body here. We have the lovers here and the devil card. You know, I do believe that when it comes to this situation, yeah, this is a very toxic situation here. You know, some here is basically looking for a new beginning. Hey, you know, Virgo, you might be completely over this person, but this person is not over, over you. Okay, what else do we have here for Virgo? We have the Ten of Swords here. Yeah, I do feel like if you do give this person a chance here, I do feel like this person will betray you again. You know, I also feel like with the Chariot in the reverse, if this person has betrayed you here, this person, you know, I feel like you haven't really quite moved on from that. Nine of Wands here, I feel like you're still trying to recover from this. Yeah, I still feel like you're trying to recover from this. What else do we have here for Virgo? We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. We also have the Six of Cups here. Yeah, this is an individual here that's basically missing you a lot. This person's thinking about you a lot. Yeah, I just feel like this person's losing sleep over you. Yeah, this person's losing sleep over you, but I would, I would be... You know, kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, you're being forewarned here because you already had this experience with this individual here. So I just feel like, you know, it's a matter of really being careful here and not letting this person take advantage of you again here, Virgo. Okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.